So we're going to work now on the addition of a second substituent to the ring and we have to take into account the group that's on the ring. For example, this is phenol and phenol has an oxygen directly attached to it and that oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons. The effect that we see is that when the atom uh, attached to the benzene ring has lone pairs of electrons, it makes that substituent an activator and activators happen to be ortho para directors. So that oxygen is pointing to the ortho and the para positions. So the next substituent that we put on the ring, in this case it's going to be a nitro group, it's going to go to the ortho and it's also going to go to the para position. So here we're going to put it on the ortho. It doesn't matter which ortho you choose, they're the same. And we're also going to get the para. So those are our two products in here and we get them, the ortho product we get it in 44 percent and the para product we get it in 56 percent and that would be because the nitro group occupies a little bit more space so it's easier to actually put it on the more open para position. Anisole we see the exact same thing, the oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons so when we do the nitration reaction, we're going to actually just put the nitro again on the ortho and the para positions. I know this example looks like the one before, but I just wanted to compare the two yields for the two reactions. So we get the ortho nitro. We're also going to get the para nitro. and the yields are going to vary a little bit because the OCH3 group, the metoxy group, it's a little bit bigger than this. We get a 90 percent of the para substituent. Halides are different because halides they do have three lone pairs of electrons but the halides are electronegative so the halide it's actually going to be a deactivating group but when it comes to stabilizing intermediates, the halides can donate electron density to the ring. So halides, even though they're deactivators, they're ortho para directors. So the nitro group, it's going to actually be on the nitro, I'm sorry, on the ortho and the para positions on the ring. So halides are special because they're the only deactivators that are ortho para directors. In terms of the yield, we get 30% of the ortho and we get 69% of the para. The last one is benzaldehyde, and benzaldehyde, the carbonyl, is directly attached to the benzene ring. And carbonyls, it doesn't matter what carbonyl it is, carbonyls are deactivators and deactivators are meta directors. So we have two meta positions. We can either put it on the top or at the bottom. There's a plane of symmetry cutting the molecule in two, so the two meta positions are equivalent. And we are going to get a nitro group meta to the aldehyde. So that's it. So you have to actually consider whether you have an activator or a deactivator and the ortho para directors are all activators. The halides are deactivators but they're ortho para directors and the other groups are deactivators and deactivators, all of them except the halides, are meta directors.